Second down. Take the Warner. Warner a first down out of bounds. He is across the 45-yard line for a gain of 11. And Lucius Smith, the quarterback, number 23, finally chases Warner out of bounds. Warner with 1,042 yards coming into this game adds some more. Merle, and he opens up an offense so much just by his ability. So strong, people underestimate his strength and his speed. He's going to make the linebackers of the Chiefs today stay in the, in the line of scrimmage. That one extra count today, and it should open up the passing game for the Seahawks. Art still has come to the sideline. Craig to the run. Warner to midfield. Gary Spady, number 59, the veteran out of Kansas State. Best linebacker of the Corps leads the charge against the rush. Connie Kawhi, the center today for the ailing Blair Bush. Kurt Warner breaking tackle has the first down near the 44-yard line. Deron Cherry, the free safety, stopping him after a six-yard pickup. Warner, by the way, is tied for the number one spot in scoring touchdown with Joe Cribbs of Buffalo and Chuck Muncie of San Diego. And he we're going to see nine. why this young man is so great. Watch the move right there on Jerry Blanton, right out of the grasp, an extra six yards. That's why this young man is worth everything they gave up this year to get him in the, in the draft. And again, what did they give for him? Of number one, a number two, and a number three. 5.26 to go in the first quarter. Warner to the 45 of the Chiefs. Thomas Howard and Dave Lindstrom stop him for Kansas City, and that will be close enough to look at it. Got a Warner. Bust it to the outside. First down, Seattle. At the 30-yard line, chased out by Albert Lewis. But Warner gets 12 in the first down. And Merle, right when you think they're going to come back and go for the pass, this is the value of a Kurt Warner. They take it back in the eye back. He runs it around the corner for a first down. Randy Gratishaw, the all-pro linebacker with the, with the Denver Broncos, told me last week that he makes you play the game so honest that his running ability opens up the entire passing game. the special little wiggle right now there it is there it is good coverage and he just takes off for six his 11th touchdown well you can't say enough about Kurt Warner and what he's meant to this organization and it was finished on this run by Kurt Warner break to the run Warner to the carry from the Kansas City 44. Kurt Warner, one of the most exciting running backs to come into the NFL. And boy, you talk about going back to the Jimmy Browns and way, way back if you want. 25 yards on that pickup. Well, but the whole idea of putting a running back like him in the deep eye back position is so that he can read everything in front of him. Takes off to the right and the ability to cut back and do Watch, watch what happens. It's good blocking. It's going up to the right. He sees it all. He's just not running, folks. Those eyes are open. Then the abilities take over. That's, that's a perfect example of why you have guys like Kurt Warner in the NFL. He's a fantastic football player. Warner inside the 35 will be close to the first down. He might have. Down inside the 30 to the 29 for a first down, and Charles Jackson, the right outside linebacker, number 51, makes the hit after a five yard pickup. Why on the snaps they show the blitz? Warner gets met at the line of scrimmage right in the hole by Lloyd Burris. The defense has reacted, and the defense will go to work now against Kurt Warner, and Warner just plows his way to the 21 where Gary Spaney, number 59, the six-year veteran out of Kansas State gets him down. 
Kurt Warner, one of the things about Warner, he not only has the breakaway speed, but he has tremendous power in that frame of his, which is 5'11 and 205. Well, Merle, you talk, Merle, you're talking about power and the way the man works out and keeps himself in such condition. Watch, watch the leg drive. He knows he's going to take it with the linebackers right now. Gary Spaney getting a free ride. Keeps those legs driving. You never know. You'll break out for a long one. Four minutes, 12 seconds to go in the first half. Back to the run with Warner. Warner not seeing much daylight, but enough to get two. And Thomas Howard wraps him up. the tackle after an eight-yard pickup. Merle, that run was for only eight yards, but he made a cut, an unbelievable cut at the line of scrimmage. Watch it as we see him take the hand up right there, instantly to his left, only eight yards. What a fine run. And you know, I had a chance to see Connie Kawhi, who has really got a lot of pressure on him, the oh, center does. today. He did a great job of blocking on Mangiero on that last play. Second down and two. in the last four or five times they've kicked extra points that both teams are getting penetration. So this is not necessarily a gimme to tie it up. I think you can call this an old-fashioned barn burger right here starting the second half up. Watch it up and over the top and we see something we haven't seen all year. Watch the emotion of the great one out of Penn State. He does it, spikes it, puts it right back. Driving to the 26. Warner. Warner dipped his shoulders with a fake. Cherry pursuing him. And that little fake by Warner at about the 28-yard line got him some extra yardage and a first down, picking up 13. Merle, we've talked about we've talked about Kurt Warner but another time once again we see a tremendous block by a wide receiver Warner trying to pick his way Ken Kramer who just came in as the nose tackle tripped him up and Jerry Blanton the linebacker put the finishing touch on Warner Seattle gets a break goes in takes the lead and Zorn was cheerleading for Craig Warner Warner, Calvin Daniels, number 50, a linebacker, making the stop. Merle, for the good people in Kansas City watching the game, their owner in the Hall of Fame, Lamar Hunt, and I'll tell you what, they've got a Hall of Fame ownership and mannership managing people up here with the Nordstroms, Mike McCormick, Chuck Knox, and all of his staff. Nice run here by Kurt Warner. That's the end of the third quarter, back after this for your local state. New career high for Kurt Warner today, 144 yards, as we see on the screen, but just eight yards away from Sherman Smith's all-time Seattle Seahawks record of 152 yards. He continues to shine. Kurt Warner, the great All-America from Penn State. Second down, length of the football to go as we open the fourth quarter. Ball at the 36-yard line of Kansas City. Water gets the first down at the 34. Jerry Blanton, 57, is there on the tackle. So he likes to be around the ball, the ball carrier. Never can tell, says Charles Jackson. Water. Mangiero pulls him down from behind. Water. Water 
it down to the eight yard line. You know, when Warner, when there's no hole, that's when you see how good of a runner that Warner really is. Well, the great running backs have proven that over the years. Jimmy Brown and Gail Sayers, Kurt Warner, Dickerson, O.J. Simpson. Quarterback tripped on that. You give that an assist on the trip there to the artificial turf. When Young scored against the Raiders, first touchdown pass to a tight end since 1979. Let's go to Charlie Warner again at the 45-yard line of Kansas City. That the Seahawks have been making mistakes. Warner, good fake. Warner out of bounds at about the 15, maybe the 14. Chased out by Gary Green. Boy, the Warner is really something with his foot fakes, the shoulder fake, the head fake. He really gets you going. Well, he reminds me so much of Gail Sayers. He gets better the tireder you would expect him to be. 163 yards on the day, as we said. That's a new Seattle Seahawk single game rushing record. Warner on the pitch. Warner near the 10. Durwood Rockmore, number 38, on the tackle. Warner. has just seen the Seahawks score again. 26 carries, 168 yards for Kurt Warner, and he gets the touchdown by the narrowest of margins, and it's Kansas City 42, Seattle 37. Probably an understatement, but you're, we are witnessing an old-fashioned barn burner. Right up and over, the Kansas City Chiefs very upset. They didn't think he made it. The officials right on the line. Six points, let's see if they get seven. An awful lot of football time. Watch this. Up and over the top for the touchdown for Kurt Warner. A big day. And we'll be right back with you. Warner broke a tackle. Warner for nine yards after breaking the tackle at, his own, at the 44-yard line. He was finally brought down by Rockmore, but he broke a tackle by Thomas Howard and picked up nine yards. What can you say? Watch the block, Brian. It's one-on-one -on -one there. <laughs> Thomas Howard won that one. But what can you say about number 28? 27 for 177 yards rushing today. Of course, it's a new Seahawks record. He may reach 200 in this ballgame today with five minutes left. He has 12 rushing touchdowns for the year. Water gets the first down at about the 28. Dino Mangiero, the nose tackle, makes the stop. A little e extra excitement going on out there. And Merle, at this point, you cannot allow your emotions to overrule you and get a cheap penalty, especially the Seahawks. They can't allow that to happen right now. Warner gets away from Howard. He's out of bounds on the 15. Durwood and Rockmore coming up to the free safety spot to get him out of bounds. Overtime in Seattle, Seahawks ball. Warner. Chased out of bounds in the 31-yard line. A 16-yard run by Warner. What can you say? He's carried it almost 30 times. He should be tired, right? He's not. He's stronger. But that Kansas City defense has got to be exhausted. Well, we've been talking about it for the last 8 to 10 minutes, Merle. They're already in field goal range, but Kurt Warner has now hit. He's 30 uh, carries for 200 yards. What a day. The Kansas City defense on the field for much of the fourth quarter. So Warner, three touchdowns today. He's hit the 200 mark. He has broken by far the previous record of rushing for one game by Sherman Smith. Warner. Warner to the 26. Jerry Blanton, number 57, there on the tackle for Kansas City. Now all they're going to do is to make sure they play it right. They know which hash mark that their kicker likes to kick from and which hash mark he doesn't like to kick. They've already got this done in months of football practice. They're going to keep it on the ground, try to move it right up for an apple pie field goal. There it is, going right up, right straight up the middle. 
giving it to their bread and butter and just make sure they don't make the big mistake. Second down five for Seattle. Warner hooking his way inside the 25 to about the 23. Gary Spaney brings him down. It'll be a 41-yard try. This kind of surprises me at this stage right here. There it is. Just a couple of minutes. And my hat is off to the Kansas City Chiefs for a valiant effort today. 